Hey guys, and welcome to an original Retry This production. Today, I will be doing a Game Maker 8.0 Pro tutorial covering trigger events and some of the pro only features in Game Maker 8.0 Pro. Yeah. So, first, I'll be going over the trigger event and how to use it. I recently discovered how to use it when messing with it, and honestly, I'm not impressed. So, what I'm going to do, I have an XP object, for example. When it's created, the player's level is 1. He has 0 XP. When he reaches 20 XP, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make him level 2, and fireworks are going to be created. Let's go with that. I like fireworks. So when he reaches level 2, fireworks are going to be created. And when he reaches 20 XP, he'll reach level 2. This XP orb right here gives him 20 XP, so he'll become level 2. So he'll reach level 2 when he touches one of these XP orbs. So what I'm going to do for my player, I'll add event, trigger, add slash modify triggers. And so what I have here is a blank trigger. So by condition, I'll say middle of step, and so this will be stored in trigger 3. So for a condition, you have to specify a whole condition just to get it to not bug out. So what you can do can do is if global dot xp equals 20 op curly bracket open we'll say global dot level equals 2 so this is just a basic example of a trigger event so if this condition occurs if your xp becomes 20 and then you reach level 2 then anything that happens in the trigger will become true so, okay. So, then I'll add the event, trigger, trigger 3. And so, I'll tell it to, as a basic example, to just draw some fireworks. So, I'll say, um, firework, relative. I'll create orange fireworks. I know what happens when this occurs, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, if the condition becomes true... So basically, if my global.xp, if my current amount of XP reaches 20 and then I level up, then my player will shoot fireworks. So this is just a basic example of how to use the trigger event. So yeah. So hold on, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I'm currently level 1, 0 XP. I click on my black player, still level 1, 0 XP. When I touch this orb, I'll level up to level 2, and my XP will be 20, satisfying the condition at the same time le shooting fireworks. So let me show you. Yay, fireworks. Level 2, XP is 20. The only problem is it gets stuck in the step event. It gets stuck as if it was a step event. So you probably have to set an alarm to make it stop shooting fireworks because the condition will keep occurring no matter what. So it'll keep shooting fireworks until I tell it to stop. Probably by using an alarm. So yeah. That's basically how you use trigger events. That was a okay example, I guess. To show you how to use it. So it occurs like a step event, so I won't stop until you tell it specify when. By using an alarm maybe. And so now I can show you about the sprite editor. Uh, let me see if I have an example to use. Yeah, I use this coin. I use my XP coin. Huh. Meh. Ah. It is. So I use this XP coin as an example to show you some of the pro features of the image editor in GameMaker 8. So not all the features, as you can obviously see, are light only. I believe one of them, the first one, was sharpen. I can sharpen the transparency, sharpen the colors. Strong, sharpen, sharpen transparency. You can't really see any differences. But when I set select special, you can clearly see, oh, it looks better that way. I can sharpen the transparency, sharpen colors. No, I like it like this. I'm going to leave it like that. It actually looks pretty cool in that. And so we can also outline with a specific color, set the thickness, place inside of the image, remove the image inside, 
and smooth it out. So, yeah. Now, we can also shadow, give it a shadow. See a gray shadow right here? I don't like gray. I'll set it to red so it's more visible. And then we can set the opacity level. Set, set the position of where you want the shadow to appear. So here, and then disappeared. Here, then I adjusted it. So yeah. Now, my personal favorite of the image editor it would be the glow feature, which is really cool. I can make anything glow. Set the opacity, set the thickness, make it glow out. Place it inside of the image, make the image glow. And personally, this is my favorite image transformation. For, so I can make it glow. Personally, it's my favorite. So also image, you can also button eyes, make it look like a button. A little 2D effect, make it seem like it's in a buttonized box. Set the opacity, set the thickness. smooth edges, and yeah, um, let's see, I believe all the other features are, besides gradient fill, which I personally also like, I can set two different colors, let's set select brown and purple, odd color shape, and change the gradient fill, set different opacity levels, looks terribly ugly, but yeah, that's a good example way to show. Set different effects, horizontal line in one color, vertical line in one color, and yeah. So I believe all the other features are pro, except set alpha from file, or one of these. It's one of these. Opacity, I think it is. So you can set the opacity, make it look invisible or faded away. And yeah, that's pretty much all the pro features. Game Maker 8, besides the, in the sprite editor, I mean. So now we can go on. I have a little bit of time. I can show you one of the splash features. Oh my gosh, it froze. No way. You see this, right? I have proof this time. It's like the fourth time it froze that I X'd out the tutorial. But now you have proof. It froze. Hold on, let me fast forward this so I can finish fail. Game Maker 8 fail. Okay, so it froze up. I restarted it. So now I'm going to go back to my player. Delete this. That's from previous. So let's say I click on my player. I'll tell it to show a website. So I'll add an event, mouse, left per S. And just to show you one of the splash features, because all of the splash features are the same. They just show different things. So I'll tell it to show, when I click on my player, I'll just say show message. No, no, wrong thing. Show, nah, not splash text. I'll say splash web page, HTTP, yoyogames.com. So I'll tell it when I click on my player to go to yoyogames.com. You can tell it to open up in your internet browser, or you can tell it to open up in the game. I personally like the game. I might actually use this feature because then I, it won't open up a separate window if a person is playing in full screen. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so hold on. If I click on my player, this is what's going to happen. It's going to load up. Yoyogames.com. It has a little X here, so you can exit out and go back to the game. And bam, I'm on Yoyogames.com without leaving the game window. I'm still on the game. See, new we try this tutorial engine. I'm still on the game. But that's a pretty cool feature. It doesn't open up a separate window. And yeah. So it does that for a splash video image. You can select new window or game. Yeah. So I can exit out and return to the exact same spot I was on before I exited out. And so the splash features do all that. I don't really need to explain the timeline features. Just a bunch of editing, pausing, and all that garbage. Well, this has been an original free try this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. This was a request from Stevmeo9. Yeah, 